Hey everyone, in that video, we'll learn how to connect workflow animation apps like Zapier or Integromat to any action in JET. That functionality allows us to go way beyond what you natively have in JET and implement pretty much any workflow imaginable. We can trigger multiple actions with just one button and effectively broaden the range of available integrations to more than 2000 apps. As an example, we'll set the action that will trigger the Zapier workflow that will send a promotional email from our G Suite account. In order to trigger the workflow from JET, we need to start with a webhook. Set the trigger to catch hook and copy the webhook URL. Now let's move back to JET and configure our action. Choose Run Operation, then select REST API from the dropdown, name it, and paste the base URL from Zapier. Then we need to configure our HTTP request. Select Make HTTP Request and paste the webhook URL that we got from Zapier. The next step is to specify query parameters that will be used to pass page values to Zapier. In our case, those will be email and name. To add a parameter, simply click on a value field and then click Add Parameter and give it a name. For us to be able to use those parameters further in the workflow, we need to send a test request. For that, simply press the Send Request button on the right then go to the Zapier page and test our trigger. Now we can use these parameters in our workflow. Next, we need to configure the action, which is sending an email. Select email from the list of webhook parameters to fetch the email value from the page in JET. Then fill in the sender email, subject and body fields, test it and turn on the Zap. Great! Now let's get back to our page in JET and save our query. The only thing that's left is to set our parameters to be obtained from the right components. For that, click on the parameter and set where the email and name values should be obtained from. In our example, it's an email and name fields from the click row. Let's test our workflow. Select the customer and click the button. And it works! Awesome! 